Robotics with Engineer Apps. Now today we have uh, a certain challenge here. This is KCC, uh, last year, paper one. Uh, and the question goes, five power two x minus one, uh, you subtract 25 power x to power x is equal to 500. Now we want to uh, look at this, but uh, before we look at the solution, in case you're watching us for the very first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that the next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And for the subscribers, thank you so much. We love you because without you guys, this channel cannot exist. Let's go back here. So solution. Solution. Uh, so the first step, uh, we can see we have 5 raised to 2x minus 1. So from the law of indices, uh, the second law of indices, we can apply when you have a raised to a number divided by a raised to a certain power, then you pick the base, which is a, then you minus uh, the, the powers. But now, and vice versa. So when you have that, then you can apply the law back. So that is what I want to apply um, there. So that means when I break this one out, then I have 5 raised to 2x divided by 5 raised to 1 minus 25 raised to x is equal to 500. Uh, then we can see 25. Also, we can uh, change it to base 5. Then we have here 5 raised to 2x over 5 minus 5 raised to 2x is equal to 500. And also in the third law of indices, also we know that when you have a raised to m, and then you have that, uh, you, this one, you, we have a raised to m, m, uh, and still the same as a raised to m, m. So that one also, I can apply it here, so that we have 5 raised to 2x divided by 5 minus 5 raised to 2x, you can multiply out. This gives us 500. I hope you are following. I hope you are following. So you can see that the, the 5 raised to 2x is common. 5 raised to 2x is common. So I'll say let, let 5 raised to 2x to be a certain, maybe t. Then we have t over 5 minus t is equal to is equal to 500 so easy then now can we now multiply both sides here by 5 multiply both sides by 5 so if we multiply both sides by 5 then we get we get t minus 5t is equal to 2500 then t minus uh, 5t we get we get we find negative 5t which is equal to 2500 so how can we get t? t is negative. 5 goes there. Um, 5 uh, negative. Sorry, sorry. If we minus t minus 5t, we get minus 4. Sorry for that. Minus 4. Minus 4t. Minus 4t. Then if you multiply both sides by negative 4, then we have... Uh, 4 goes into 25, 6, 25. So our t is negative 625. But now we were not asked to get t. We want to get t. So we recall. When we, we recall, let's recall. 5 raised to 2x is equal to negative 625. So when we change this one to base 5, then we have 5 raised to 2x is equal to negative 5 raised to 4. But <coughs> you can see the bases are not the same because this is a negative and this is a, a positive. So you cannot compare the powers because the bases are not the same. Uh, so when you know that, we can introduce log. So if you do log, then we have 
2x log 5 is equal to 4 log of negative 5. Negative 5. And uh, uh, log of, uh, I mean 2x log of 5 is equal to 4 log of negative 5. So 2x will be 4 log of negative 5 over log of 5. And uh, here, from here, the log of negative 5, we cannot, you know, this is uh, uh, indeterminate, uh, the log of uh, negative 5. So when you reach there, when you reach there, you can see that x that we want is 4 log of negative 5 multiplied by 2, uh, that one divided by, multiplied by 2, log of 5. But we have here the log of negative number. So when you reach there, as per the standard of uh, uh, form 4, form 4, which is the case you see, x you will say is in indeterminate or that is now a complex, a complex number. So from that point, when you reach here, you cannot compare, you cannot compare the indices because the this is the same. So x, just say indeterminate, or is uh, this is now a complex, a complex number. That is a complex number. Mm. So what about what about if this question? I don't know whether it was wrongly set or there was a mistake, because because that is a complex number now, which is a complex, complex number. And you know the complex number, uh, it has the red part, which is A, then it has the imaginary, which is um, uh, JB, whereby this is the red part, and this is the imaginary part. So from here, we, I can also say 5 raised to x is equal to negative, 5 multi raised to 4. Negative 5 raised to 4. So this is 5 raised to 2x is equal to negative 1 multiplied by 5 raised to 4. And you can see this is because we know that j squared is equal to negative 1 when you talk about complex numbers. So you can see that uh, this one is, you know, just beyond their scope and, uh, you know, it's, also, um, it's beyond their scope so they cannot proceed from this from this point. Uh, but let's say that uh, here, if you put a plus here so that we have 5 raised to 2x plus 1 minus 2 raised to 25x is equal to 500, then it can easily be, uh, be found. It can be easily be found because you just change this one very fast. Minus 5 raised to 2x is equal to 500. Then uh, you can break that one down, 5 raised to 2x multiplied by 5 raised to 1 is equal to 5 raised to 2x is equal to 500. Then you let 5 raised to 2x to be t. Then when you replace it back, then we have 5t minus t is equal to, is equal to 500. Then here now instead of having negative 4, then you, we have 4t is equal to 500 then t is equal to um, is equal to 25 40 divided by 500 what do you get uh, let's just look at it this is 125 125 so when you recall when you recall 5 raised to 2x which was our t and our t is 125 then we have 5 raised to 2x is equal to 5 raised to 3. Then you can see 2x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 1.5. So if this one is a plus, then it is, it is not beyond their scope. But if it is negative 1, then you're supposed to leave your answer as indeterminate or just a complex number. Then you will get the whole max. Just like that class, thank you so much. And uh, may you have a nice day.